Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Soul Work. I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. And as usual, I have a guest on tonight's show, and we will indeed be taking calls from the viewers right after our short commercial break. And that number to call us, Calgary, is 403-539-6710. And on tonight's show, I brought... Um, this specific guest on because I am familiar with a lot of the work that he does. I actually do a lot of it on my own, but just differently than than how you do it. Mm -hmm. And my guest is James Kerouac. Yes. Did I say that yeah, right? Perfectly. Thank oh, you. yay! I did. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I do uh, past life regression, and um, I find that it's. Uh, it's, it's really healing when you can see what it is that's causing problems. And we're able to take somebody through a past life and allow them to have a closer look on what's causing the problems. Mm -hmm. And once you know that, you can release it and let it go. And so that's, that's, that's always fun because I never know where we're going to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. What really attracted you to the past life regression? Really, um, it goes back to when I was a child. I was asking questions of God and was in a dark place and found myself actually in the presence of a white light mm. and that white light I'm not even sure when I started speaking about it but it always caused me to have be asking spiritual questions my whole life mm -hmm. and um, it, you know when I first started getting into past life or hypnosis was really when I was in my teenage years I was really fascinated with hypnosis and I really believe that the um, body could heal itself. And mm -hmm. I first took uh, traditional hypnosis, but found that it was, it was very scientific. But I didn't think it had that spiritual touch that I was looking for. And so I found that when I um, started searching more into hypnosis, that I felt past life regression was going to get me to the place. Mm -hmm. And it has. It's, mm -hmm. it's been amazing. You felt a real calling for it. Absolutely, absolutely. For, um, for me, I, I always wanted to help people to channel their higher self. I've been following some channelers, uh, Esther Hicks. A lot of people are probably familiar with her work. Mm -hmm. And it was on, actually on a cruise with, with her that I found this technique. And so that's what drew me to past life regression. And we use it as a bridge to bridge the higher self. So, yeah. Mm, nice, nice. Because mm -hmm. it's so important. Past life is just so important for everybody to come to terms well, with think, who they are. And I think at this time we're at right now, it's about releasing karma and letting mm -hmm. it go because I really think it's a time for us to evolve as a race, mm -hmm. or as a human race. And when we're no longer building karma, we're no longer going out there and causing issues in our lives. With 7 billion people on the planet, it's a pretty calm planet. And mm -hmm. that's pretty cool with that we're able to release mm -hmm. anything that's holding us back and let it go. And, you know, if we don't, we get to come back to do it all over again. Exactly. So. Exactly. It's, it's like anytime I meet someone, certain people I know automatically if they're from my past life. And it's like, why are they back? And then you start to understand and see why they've come back. And absolutely it is to clear mm -hmm. karma or, you know, different reasons. Well, yeah, we're, we, I, we tend to come back with the same soul group, you know, tends to be our family members you know and we're we're all learning lessons together mm. and sometimes we're not clear on what those lessons are so mm -hmm. <laughs> i know i hear you on that right because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll clear out different per person if, if it was family what i do is i'll take one person let's say and clear out the energy and then move on to the next one and next one so i can clear it properly well, I feel yeah. that as we go through life and we see things that are annoying us, if we can clear it out of us, we, we actually change the planet too. We change our universe because we are mm -hmm. the center of our universe. We are, we are indeed. So who taught you? Well, I learned um, from Dolores Cannon. I first took her course online and that was enough to allow me to work with friends and family and, mm -hmm. and really some people go on to use it professionally as well. It just, I didn't feel comfortable with that. So I took uh, level two, which I actually had to fly down and got to meet Dolores in person. Oh, really? And wow. that was that was really because yeah. um, I love her work. Yeah, she was such a grandmother. She, you know, that was her energy, and that's who she was. And it really comes came through when I went to meet her. Mm -hmm. I remember helping her up and down off of the podium she was on, where she was teaching us from. 
And I remember at one point I asked her if I could have a hug, and she says, oh, us, us light workers, we're, we're all so huggy, aren't we? And, <laughs> and I was glad that I got that hug because that was the last time I saw her, and she mm -hmm. passed away that fall. So, yeah. But she, yeah. she's still doing so yeah. much for us from the other side. She is. And she yeah. did so much for us while well, she was here, but not too many people are aware of her work, which is unfortunate because she wrote 19 books mm -hmm. over a 45-year career in hypnosis. And so... Um, I'm shocked by how many people are unaware of her work. Mm -hmm. She's very good. I've, every book I've read from her, I've, I've really connected with it and really liked it. And that's what drew me to you at first. When I saw that, the Dolores Cannon and, and past life and everything, I thought, oh, I can connect with that. Yeah, well, for me, um, I, I'm not sure. I, I really wanted to help people connect spiritually. And I know that once you know that you're an energy not a physical being your life really does start to take on a different mm -hmm. aspects and you look at death differently too especially if you're mourning um, mm -hmm. a loss of somebody once you realize they're still alive they're still not necessarily alive but still a being it really really you look at life and mm -hmm. death from a different place you do you, you, mm -hmm. you really do you know, it's 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 wonderful. It just really can ground a person really well. And you you teach events and, and well, workshops. Well, I, I do and workshops, such. and through the workshops, it's not as in depth as the one-on-one -on -one sessions that I do, but it's a great way for people to have a taste of past life regression and hypnosis because um, I know for a lot of people they see hypnosis as being controlling because they watch it on TV or they see it in the movies and that's not the way hypnosis is and I wanted to be able to touch more people and you know when you can do a workshop with 20 people and there's tears and there's releases going on I feel I almost feel funny when I look over and I see somebody mm -hmm. crying because I know they're having a release and I, it gives me joy and it, it's kinda feels funny at in some ways but in other ways I know they're getting just what they need Absolutely. And so, yeah, with the workshops, um, I'm able to touch more people. And mm -hmm. we go through, a lot of times we'll go through different exercises, but it'll be anything from a past life regression to a meet your angel guide or spirit mm -hmm. guides and a progression into a future life. And we're bringing other things on as we uh, build out mm -hmm. the workshop. And people are always wanting to be longer, so I've been making them longer and longer. Which and is nice, though. It's a good compliment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But sometimes I think it might feel a little rushed. So yeah. we've been working on that and slowing it down and making the times longer. So That's great. How mm -hmm. long have you been doing your workshops for? Um, just over a year and a half. I've done, mm -hmm. I think, about 10 workshops now. And so what got you started like in, in the well, workshops? Was I really just... wanted to be able to touch more people's lives because okay. in the one-on-one -on -one sessions, they do last quite a long time. They last approximately five hours. Wow. So I only do one session a day. And so this was just a better way for me to touch more people's mm -hmm. lives with the past life regression and also for them to really get to know what it's about and maybe spread mm -hmm. the word. So if, you, if somebody um, went to see you, for instance, how long would a session last if it was one-on-one? -on -one? So one-on-one, -on -one, basically what, how a session works one-on-one -on -one is we start off with a conversation because I want to get background on the client. Also, I know that we're imprinted with our belief system at a young age, so we definitely start at the childhood and work our way up to the current life or up to the current time. And then we move into the past life regression and it's recorded because it's very much like a dream and we don't want to lose any vital information and also you know how when you've gone back to information at a later date you um, can absorb it on a, on a greater scale or, or um, understand it mm -hmm. better and also when we're bridging to the higher self when you can go back and listen to that and hear it answer your questions on your behalf mm -hmm. and you really start to wrap your consciousness around the fact that you are a consciousness not a physical being and open up to that mm -hmm. you really really shift your life because you I know that when we're focused on the physical um, we're so far from that source that mm -hmm. it feels like life is just kinda happening to us and when you can really believe that you've had an experience in these sessions and uh, open up to the fact that you are able to heal your life it changes your life it, it really does. does and that's part of having that recording too is so you can really start to believe 
in who exactly. and what you are. So if somebody wanted to come see you or book an appointment, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, the best way would be to go to my website, jameskerouac.com, and um, send me an email, okay. or even on my website, you can just opt in and, and send me an email that way, and or give me a call direct. Excellent, excellent. Now, just to let the viewers know, of course, that we are opening the phone lines once we come back from our commercial, and that number is 403 Five three nine sixty seven ten. So give myself and or James a call. Hang in there, Calgary. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. This is Soul Work, and I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and we're live here on Shaw TV, and our phone lines are open. That number is 403-539-6710, and my guest tonight is James Kerouac. Yes. <laughs> yes, and we already have a caller on hold, and our first caller is Larry. Larry, welcome to the show. You have a question for us. Yes, uh, Jenny, uh, I just uh, got some insight from James there. But what if uh, you're kind of dealing with an injury of multiple fractures? I can't get much insight down the road yet. I wonder if you can help me. Yeah. Um, so you're wondering how a past life would help with that? Uh, no, not a past life. Uh, this life right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is uh, in the moment. So really, when we, if we use the past life to bridge you to your higher self, we can ask for it to help heal those um, fractures. Uh, actually, I've been working on that because I was in the meditation one time in London, Ontario, so I got a great insight of all that stuff. But uh, these are, uh, you know, it takes both, uh, it takes, you know, it takes both uh, doctors and your own self. Yeah, I, I, just, I yeah, I, I just ahead. really feel it's actually, it just really kind of feels very karmic for you. And um, what you have to do is take a look and see where those injuries are because different parts of your body represents different energy and different meanings and represent sensations and for some reason I just kept on seeing a ladder whenever you um, started talking because for me I read the voice the voice is the soul that speaks and th the ladder I kept on seeing it it almost feels like with these injuries that you have you know you're you're walking up the ladder to freedom how old are you now 57 okay 57 to 62 new cycle for you so um, you've got honestly um, you've got I'd say about three years to go before I really feel that things are really going to clear out. And for you to be around water right now would be very therapeutic if you can. I know it might be very difficult, but <laughs> it, it's, it's to surrender it. And if you got, there's a book by Louise Hay, um, Heal Your Life. And if you go in there, it does demonstrate, you know, different ailments of the body that is affected. And then you can do positive mantras to clear certain things out, and it does help it. But it is, it is connected, definitely. Jenny, I was uh, contemplating on maybe after a couple of years uh, going back to Cape Breton. That's where the water is. Perfect, perfect. Because yeah. I saw the yeah. three, as I said, three years. So yeah. perfect for you, and and, and you're you're really going to see a big difference. And and not only that, you're you're very very old soul, and you're really going to connect with people in a more profound way when you go back. You really are. You're going to help people. By the way. Thank you, Jenny. So, you're very welcome. And thank, yeah, thank you so much, James. I got some good insight from you there. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Larry. You're welcome. And um, our next caller online here is Marion. Marion, you have a, a question? How are you? Very good. You have a question for James and I? Yes, I was just wondering. I, um, I have quite a good life. My health is very good. You know, I have a job today and hopefully tomorrow. I've done well for myself. And... But I just can't seem to get the relationship part of it straightened out. Yeah, that's going to take um, that's going to take a little bit of time. You need to completely surrender that. Two years, I heard. I saw the number two, um, and it's just going to take a little bit of time. Like what you really need to do is make sure your heart is open and really focus mm -hmm. on what it is you are truly looking for. You know, we can mm -hmm. we can get relationships and meet people anytime realistically, but you have to really yeah. ask yourself, what am I looking for? Mm -hmm. What am I truly looking for? You know, and you have to know your worthiness. But when you do that, um, you might start to see signs even coming this summertime, honestly. 
but I really mm -hmm. see two years. Like I just, I'm feeling two years. You're just going to meet the right person, and it's going to be completely okay. and utterly when you 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 given up on the whole relationship issue altogether. Well, I've kind of been at that situ at that way right now, right? Well, there is people around you. There is someone around you. Yeah, but. Um, there is somebody who I'm really feeling coming in that's you're really going to connect with and click with on a soul level within two years. But people come mm -hmm. into our lives for a reason, you know, and for you, it's almost like, you know, open up your heart again. This person's coming in to show you lots of different things. But go with it. Just really go with it and know your worth. Mm -hmm. What about you, James? Have you, you noticed pat have you noticed a pattern showing up in your relationships? Mm-hmm. Like, have you always had a hard time keeping a relationship, or? Well, I've been in long-term relationships that ended up, you know. Do they tend to end the same, or? Yes. Yeah. Well, there, yes. there could be a pattern showing up from from your past. You know, yeah. not not you yeah. know. I'm but a I past don't... life regressionist, so I take <laughs> everything to past life, <laughs> yeah. right? So. Pardon me. I take everything to past life because I think we yeah. have lessons to learn. Um, yeah. And really, when we can go into a past life, we can kind of see it from a third party and kind of leave mm -hmm. it there and let it go. Well, you know, I, I, I honestly believe that I'm a very good person. I have a good heart. You are. Um, but yeah. I, I just don't know what's going on. But that's why I said, that's why I said right away, you got to know your worthiness. You got to know your worth. It's like, I'm worthy and I deserve the best. And, mm -hmm. you know, because some people just settle just because, and that's the worst thing you can do. So well, that's what I have been trying to do in the last six years. Yes. And, them. Yeah. But seriously, just hang in there, you know, just kind of mm -hmm. get your fielders out there, but really get to know yourself more and write down certain things, what you're looking for and what you don't want, what you want, what mm -hmm. you don't want. And so within two, I wish I could say two weeks, two months. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, mm -hmm. he's going to caught you completely off guard. It's going to be at a social occasion somehow. And, mm -hmm. um, could be like a barbecue or something. And the chemistry, boom, 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 boom is going to be there. The conversation is going to flow perfectly and things are going to mm -hmm. move quickly. Is this person from town like Calgary? Yeah, they're around here. Yeah, they're definitely, okay. they're just in a relationship right now. It's not time for them to be, you guys to be together. That's all. Oh, okay. So hang in there. Well, I appreciate your time, and I have been listening to James, and I think that um, yeah, that would be worth looking into. Absolutely. And thank you for calling, Marion. Thank you. Have a good evening. You thank too. you, Marion. You too. And we have another caller on hold, and that would be Heather. Heather, you have a question for us. Yes. Uh, hi, Jenny. Hi. My question is around uh, work opportunities and what you see in my future for yeah, work. I'm seeing health. Why am I getting that? Health, Are you just seeing? Got, health just got circled for some reason. Health? Yeah, health. H E L T H. Uh, I don't know why. I yeah, I'm a fairly just, healthy person, so. No, 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 not like your health. I'm really feeling, when you said work, I just kept on hearing health, meaning um, you very well could end up working in some type of health institute hospital, anything to do health connected with you. Because I just really feel um, within the next, actually, 18 months, even two years from there, you're really going to get your, to know yourself on a really more profound level. And you're going to find that people are going to gravitate towards you even more so. So if you, you know, down the road or so, when you look back, you're, you're going to take a look at, you know what, I talked to these people, they were coming to me and I could actually really help them. But it, you very well could be in a hospital of some sort or something working okay. in that environment. Like, don't go looking for it now, today, right? Because you're going to find it's just going to flow to you naturally. It's just going to come to you. Okay. Yes. So, is that your is that your main concern? or? Well, yes, that's my main concern. <laughs> yeah, so just surrender it. Just really, really surrender it. And, and don't put in any fear at all into your work environment right now at all. Don't. There, there's so much fear out there right now just because of everything that's been happening you know with all the layoffs and everything like that and that's the worst thing that we can do it really is we just have to surrender it okay yeah yeah uh does james have anything to add well i would just say yeah fear is probably the lowest state we can be in so definitely you know get around people that make you feel good do things that make you feel good make that a habit mm -hmm. i've been trying to yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy, but you just got to, you know, get into it, definitely. Well, another thing I picked up on is when you say the word try, there's, it kind of implies failure. So one thing I like to play with is our language. And 
So when we speak, we actually direct our energy through our language. Uh, especially through hypnosis, we tend to always want to pick the best words that we can to direct a person. But I notice when you use the word try, um, really start to direct where you want to go. Okay? Okay. And if you catch yourself saying the word try, don't beat yourself <laughs> up. Have fun with yes. it. Have yes. fun with it. Yeah, because do positive okay. mantras. Like po if I know, let's say, I have like a challenging day ahead of me for whatever reason it is, you know, I'll wake up in the morning and I tell myself it's going to be a really, really good day really good day. If I was out there looking for work, I'd say, you know what, today I'm going to land a job, today I'm going to find a job, today I'm going to meet a new connection for work. Anything to do on that. Because when we use the positive mantras, it really does help. It really does make a difference. Believe me, I've had challenges. We all have had challenges. Mm -hmm. You know, but it, it does really work. It's positive thinking and change that energy around. Because what energy you send out, it's going to come back. And you'll be surprised how everything can flow with you. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, you're welcome. You're very welcome, and thanks for calling. Bye. And, and we have another caller on hold, and that would be Marianne. Marianne, I just heard Gilligan's Island, Marianne, for some reason. <laughs> 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 you have a question for us. Yes. Um, I was wondering what to see in the next couple of years for me. As far as... and what? How old are you now? Mm. You, you just have that very... Um, um, like old, old soul to you. I'm 63. And, oh, yeah. Um, I feel like an old soul in you. Um, mm -hmm. like, like you're to that situation where you could, you could teach so many others. You have a very gentle soul, very big, big, big heart, right? And you, you've got a lot of energy in your hands also. You could do healing, even energy work. You, mm, you've you've got see. like this radiance, this radiant energy around yourself and within the next couple of years um, I actually hear Okanagan coming in because I'm seeing the fruit trees for some reason really yeah yeah because I see the lake and and the trees and the fruit and everything like that so okay. yeah I just I, I see your health's gonna be fine I don't see any big issues with your health um, you're gonna be around for a while so that's good news. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping that you'd say Vancouver because that's really where I'm heading. But yeah, you know. yeah, you could go to Vancouver and everything like that. But you're, but you're gonna find though, like with Vancouver. I mean, I love Vancouver, but I, I just really feel with you. Um, y you know, you're gonna see things a little differently. Where you're gonna want to be more in a smaller type of uh, environment. Really? Yeah, you'll, you'll know what I mean when you're there. Like, Vancouver's great, it's wonderful, I love it, and everything like that. But, you know, you have, like, Vancouver Island, let's say, more smaller community, and then, um, you know, Okanagan is... You, you'll go out there, definitely. Okay, definitely. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, and just in, enjoy yourself. But, but just really, really know that you've really helped and touched a lot of people. If, if you go back throughout your life and, and really take a look at people that you've helped like if I was not you know in a good mood or God only knows what's going on in my life <laughs> you know and I go over and I see you or I phone you, you you would totally calm me down you really would because you've got that natural healing ability with you like I said your hands and everything mm. so take a look back on that okay yeah definitely what about you well, James I was just gonna say that what do you see James <laughs> Well, I'm not psychic. I we're all psychic, really, yeah. but I don't. I don't but, give advice. But I that heard way. that I heard what you said when you said that you use words that we give you guidelines by the way that we speak. Well, definitely we do. Um, our words are our energy, and I I pick up on that all the time by, you know, directing our energy through how we speak about ourselves, how we think about ourselves. Um, the, the better you can think about yourself, the better off you are. Well, I think very highly of myself. Well, that's great. That's great. Not too many people do. <laughs> that's right. That's great. That's awesome. She's great. Marianne, you would be. I think you'd make a great guest on the show, actually. I really do. I really think you would be a good healer. You got that upbeat. You yes. know, your giggle is, yes. is infectious. Very good. Yeah, so that's why I said look back. Really look back throughout your life and just really see who you've infected, as I call it. Thank you very much. In you've a very given me a way. lot to think about. Yes, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll be fine. You, you, there's so many new things that are going to come your way with new friends and open doors and stuff like that. People aren't going to want you to leave. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, you're very welcome. Uh, 
Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, Thanks, you're, Marianne. You're very welcome. You're, you're very welcome. You know, it's, it's just so much fun when people call in. I, I love talking to new people. Mm -hmm. You know, new energy, new, new people and such, and everybody's great. You know, and, and, you know, you come in on the show, James, and past life regressions and everything. I'm so huge past life. So huge. Well, well, I think the key is, is to get focused on this life. Um, but a lot of my clients come to me going to other modalities, even having counseling. And they'll share more with me in the first five minutes than they'll share with their counselor because they feel like it's a spiritual experience that yes. happened to them. And they yeah. can't share that with no. traditional counseling, right? No. So that's they, pretty yeah. cool. Because they can open exciting. up. And be free. Mm -hmm. Where if you, I, I remember many, many years ago, many years of my teenage years, I started to see things. And at that time, I was seeing a different doctor, and I went there, and I said, "Oh my God, I think I'm completely losing it. This is what I'm seeing." And he goes, "Congratulations! How long have you been doing drugs?" And I'm like, "What?" So he's not even open to. Yeah. So that was it. I never went and saw him again. You know, mm -hmm. and I, I started connecting with different energetic, spiritual people, and I, I understood it. But that's the thing, you know, people will hold themselves back and, and then they'll come to see somebody like you or somebody spiritual, they'll open up and I'm getting the wrap up sign already. <laughs> so I, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Well, thanks James. for having me. I, I enjoyed it and uh, I can't wait to spread the word about hypnosis and past life regression and, and yes. all of its abilities. Yes. It, it is an amazing modality. It it's really very is. therapeutic. It really is because mm -hmm. it helps. Like even with me, I always mix in past life. Always, always, always with my readings because it helps that person understand who they are and why things are happening Absolutely. and everything. So, but this is Shaw TV and we're live here and I'm your host Jenny Cousins and this is Soul Work and we will be back next Wednesday evening live at 6.30 p.m. Take care everyone. Good night. <laughs>